So we continue now with parallel lines and their equations. And I will, I will, I will type the question uh, as an annotation, but it's going to say, uh, find the equation of a line which is parallel to the line y equals 5x minus 1, but also goes through point A to 15. All right, so I need to construct the equation of a line, and it gives me another line, and it's parallel to that line, and it gives me a point. Now, that is fantastic. I really enjoy those questions, because we already understand uh, from the previous video that parallel lines, their, their gradient is the same. Yeah, they're equally as steep. The gradient is the same. So I'm really combining all the knowledge I have already yeah, now in this particular question. That's why I really enjoy these questions, because what is the general equation of a line, yeah, the gradient intercept uh, for y equals mx plus c. Okay, and again, I'm really combining everything I know because the gradient. Well, before I had to calculate the gradient, and it gave me two points: yeah, delta y divided by delta x, the difference in the y direction divided by the difference in the x direction. But now they only give me one point. Can I calculate the gradient with one point? No, I can't. I can't. However, it's parallel to this line. Now, this line is also written in the gradient intercept form. What is the gradient of that line? It's 5. Considering this new line, the line I'm constructing, eh, the equation of, considering it's parallel to that line, what can I say about the gradient of this line? It's also 5. Fantastic. You're right. So, I don't have to calculate anything. I can just swap eh, m for 5, substitute 5, so 5x plus c. And then actually you can continue as you were doing before. Yeah, I have to find the y-intercept. It's not the same as minus 1. Eh? It's not the same as minus 1 as we, if I just take this slide again, as we've seen before, the gradient is the same, yeah, but the y-intercept changes. Yeah? There's nothing wrong with that, that's perfectly normal, but if they're parallel, the gradient is the same, the y-intercept may change. So I do not use his or her y-intercept, yeah, but I know from before, I can substitute this point in this equation, yeah, and then find the y-intercept. And if you're not very comfortable with, that, uh, with doing that yet, make sure you have a look at those previous videos, okay? Because there's a reason why we do one thing first before we do the next, okay? But I know you can do this anyway. 2, 15. So what is y? If I look at point A, which one is y? That's 15. You see? You knew that. So 15 equals 5 times x, and x is 2, plus c. So 15, 5 times 2, equals 10 plus c. And I am rearranging the formula because I want to find out what c is. So what do I have to do on both sides to isolate c? I have to take away 10. Yeah, sorry, I was grabbing a piece of paper at the same time because it never fits on one piece of paper with me. Yeah, because I, I like to write a lot, but I do that purposely because I don't make any mistakes at the same time. Yeah, we write down our working. So minus 10 on both sides. I'm going to continue here now. So I have 5 equals C. So I found my y-intercept. That makes y equals 5x plus 5. The equation of the line I was looking for, which is parallel to 5x minus 1. And you can see they're parallel, considering they have the exact same uh, gradient. Sorry, let, let me just put it like this. That, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Yeah? So parallel lines have the same gradient, and that's why it's really useful to write these equations in the gradient intercept form, and that's why we do it. So they are parallel, and I've got to find that y intercept that because they are not the same necessarily by substituting that point they give to me uh, they give that to me for a reason uh, don't they by substituting that in my equation i can find c my constant my y intercept and that's how i construct how i create if you like this equation of the line now that is fantastic and it, it really brings everything together uh, we have we have spent a lot of time, a lot of energy in understanding these equations, understanding those terms, gradients, understanding y-intercepts, and it all comes back 
all of it together in this particular question. Well done. Have a look at a few more examples and I'll see you later. Bye bye.